Well, we've got a new DLC announcement. It looks like it's not what anybody expected again. Are we just... Okay. Well, there it is. There it is. <clears throat> That's uh, not going to be a DLC I use a lot. So we are, honestly, this is kind of, kind of a questionable DLC. We're um, getting three creatures from the first game back in Colodicus, Spinoraptor, and Stegoceratops, and, but we have to pay for them? But they get bioluminescence. And then shockingly enough, we actually are getting an adult um <clears throat> Spinoceratops or Sinospino. Which uh a lot of people thought we would never get. Interesting to get um does this make three DLCs in a row with Camp Cretaceous, or do we skip one in the middle? Because we had the Nothosaurus and the Aquatic, we had the Tarbo and the Carnivore. Was the feather one after the Aquatic? I don't think so, right? So they've really been pushing getting the Camp Cretaceous species out. Where the fuck is Microceratus? God damn it. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> yeah. Um, not what I would have wanted, but, well, here we are. As always, the Steam page has <clears throat> some previews for us and more information. Uh, the Ankyloticus actually looks a bit remodeled, like maybe completely, um, from what I can remember. It looks like it's running on an Apatosaurus rig, judging by the way the one sits in the background there. Um, the proportion looks, proportions of it look much more <clears throat> Apatosaurus 2 than the first game, at least from what I can remember. Um, yeah, Stegoceratops looks basically like exactly what I remember. Weird double plates, weird double horns. Not much to say about that. They're really, really driving home the bioluminescence. I do like the bioluminescence on the Sinospino or whatever. <clears throat> the frill looks really nice with bioluminescence. Honestly, a bioluminescent Ceratopsian frill is a great idea that we should have on a regular species at some point that's really cool speaking of bioluminescence did gloss over the fact that there was a bioluminescent indoraptor in that trailer ah there's the film one or the the show one or at least one of the show ones and we got our spinoraptors looking spinoraptory uh we got the JP style raptor hands. I mean, it's probably just the same, basically the same model as we had in the first game, right? This DLC feels very quick. Um, and it's not, it took forever, but it feels very much like knocked out. All right. <clears throat> For bioengineered hybrids. Yep, bioluminous variations, yada yada. So we're going with Spinoceratops and not the weird Sinospino. Which is great, because Spinoceratops sounds more like a dinosaur, and Sinospino sounds like a weird nickname. So yeah, I wonder if the Spinoceratops is going to eat fish. It does in the show, right? An herbivorous dinosaur eating from a fish feeder would be really cool. But, like, I'm worried they'll give this... They won't give this much in terms of uniqueness because this feels, I'm going to say it again, this feels like a cheap DLC, like a cheaply made quick DLC. Yeah, Stegoceratops and Kyloticus and Spinoraptor, yep. <clears throat> There's not much to say here for this one. Like, there was a lot to say last time I did one of these videos, and here it's just like, yeah, that's what it is. Um, Wowee. It feels like a bit of a ripoff. They're charging us for Stegoceratops and Colodics and Spider Raptor again. I'm not going to lie. That's not great. 
Well, digging for a little more information online, it looks like um, it's the Indominus Rex and Indoraptor that get the bioluminescent skins. They're part of the DLC. Uh, we missed the release date here, which is March 13th, which is a mere few days away. <clears throat> Apparently, this DLC is launching alongside a... Well, of course, it's launching alongside a free update, but the free update appears to be referred to as being only bug fixes. So maybe... Um, no content in the free DLC, which would be incredibly disappointing. The subreddit for JWE is currently on fire, um, which is not shocking. So there is that as well. Um, I don't know what else to say. That's not. I have nothing to say about this. I can't like critique the designs for like accuracy because they're not real creatures. I can't make big comments on the aesthetics because we've seen all of these before. Like, I don't know. It is what it is, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what they say post-release. Um, but it this is... I would not have expected this to be a DLC. I would not have expected this to be the next DLC. I would not have expected this to be the DLC. Um, if anything... If we, my my guess would have been if we were getting a hybrid pack, we'd have gotten the creatures from the first game alongside a little bit more, not the creatures from the first game making up the bulk of the DLC. Either if we're being optimistic, part of a free update. If we're being more realistic, maybe a hybrid pack that introduced six species, right? And we get some that are basically just ports from the first game. That way, it feels a little more fair, but that's not what we got uh what you gonna do right i mean i'll i'll be buying it because i don't give a shit <laughs> at the end of the day i'll just shrug give them my money use each dinosaur once and then move on with my life is that the right attitude to take P probably not but that's what it's gonna be